Hi everyone, Jen Broyles here, and today I am with Mary Scully, who is the owner of the Exercise Coach Dallas, which is a specialized fitness studio. And so thank you, Mary, for joining me to talk a little bit about fitness and the importance of it and um, you know certain things to keep in mind when you are engaged in an exercise routine. So thank you for, for joining me. Yeah, thanks, yeah. Jenna. I'm looking forward to it. Awesome, awesome. So let's go ahead and kick it off. So Mary, tell me a little bit about the exercise coach and what you do in your studios. Right, so we are, as Jen said, a specialized fitness studio, and we have, um, we provide a strength and interval training program for our clients using our certified personalized uh, training coaches and um, equipment that's enabled by, with technology. Hmm. So we're able to help our clients customize their workout program for whatever it is they need, their fitness goals are. Uh, and we then can deliver it in a very efficient manner. Awesome, awesome. It's really, really a neat, a neat technique that, that they have. So um, how does your approach to the strength and interval training really help people lose body fat? Because I know um, that's, for a lot of women especially, that is their ultimate goal is to lose weight and we really wanna focus, if there's weight to lose, focus on losing body fat and not muscle. Um, so how does your program really emphasize that? Right, so, so really, um, actually 90% of the prospective clients that come to us, when we ask what their goals are, their goals are weight loss. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we do learn over time that that's not their only goal, but it's certainly the one that motivates them to, to start or re-engage in an exercise program. So what we uh, deliver is a strength and interval program that's concentrated and customized. It can be accomplished in a short period of time, so it's also convenient. Um, what it does is it causes us, it enables the client to build healthy muscle, to, uh, to um, make that muscle stronger rather than lose it. So in a, in a normal endurance um, exercise program where people are working out for a long time or they're running or walking for a long period of time to build endurance, yes, in fact, they will lose weight uh, over time. It takes a while. However, part of the weight they lose is also muscle weight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is a big problem. It is a big problem. That is not what we want to do. Right, right, exactly. So I really like your approach. You know. Um, and when it comes to weight training, I think a very common misconception is, and especially among women again, is that weight training causes or causes you to build big bulky muscles, which not a lot of women want. That's not their, their goal. And so tell me why, first of all, that's false and how strength training actually helps to burn body fat. Right, so two, two good questions, and, and they're connected, but a little bit different. Mm -hmm. So yes, I mean, even myself, when I started weight training many years ago, mm -hmm. I said I was doing it just because somebody told me I could run better if I had <laughs> upper body strength, right? right? Uh, which is true, yeah. uh, but I didn't want to build muscle, and being an athletic build myself, I thought, oh, I don't want to do that. But in, in, in actual fact, it doesn't you are genetically predisposed to a certain size of muscle, but you're never gonna get more than that size of muscle. And what you're trying to do is make the muscle that you have um, healthy and so that it can work most efficiently in burning body fat. Mm -hmm. Because in the end, our muscle is our fat burner. So if our muscle is healthy, then um, if we do carry fat in our body and don't feed it any more fat, mm -hmm. then the muscle, the healthy muscle will consume that fat over time because it's gonna be hungry. It's gonna need some fuel to burn and so, to give itself energy. Okay. So the more you work out in a strength program like ours in an interval training, your muscle actually contracts and um, moves fresh blood and oxygen through your system, keeping it healthy and helping it rejuvenate. But it also causes that muscle to get stronger and stronger as you provide more effort mm -hmm. in that respect. Um, it doesn't in any way cause you to lose muscle mass. Actually, it's causing you to build it, but it's mm -hmm. not gonna be bulky. Right, right. So, okay. to the fat loss question, 
Um, when you have a healthy, lean body mass in your, in, in your system, that is then going to facilitate the burning of, of fuel, of fat. Mm -hmm. um, and it'll take that fat from where we have it in our bodies. So what we want to do is keep those muscles as healthy as possible so that they are enabled to burn as much fuel, as much fat as we mm -hmm. have to give it. Right. Now I will say that there is a certain amount of body fat that is healthy mm -hmm. for a, an individual to carry. You don't want to ever get your body fat percentage so low that it then has a negative impact on the other systems in your body. So there's a balance and we at the exercise coach are very aware of that. So we work with our clients to get a balance within their bodily systems of both the hormonal balance as well as the body fat percentage to muscle balance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that you pointed that out because yeah, I mean the ideal, I guess, body fat percentage for women versus men is quite different. And um, and we need a certain amount of fat for proper hormone function and, like you said, other body systems. And so I, I, I'm glad you pointed that out. But basically what I understood, and tell me if this is right, you know, when you're, when you're building healthy, strong muscles, that's promoting a healthy metabolism ultimately. Yes, it okay. does. Because actually um, what we try to educate our clients around at the Exercise Coach is that, yes, we do provide – an opportunity for them to uh, do strength and interval training to their better health. Mm -hmm. However, what we want them to understand is that it's not just for that purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not a bodybuilding machine. Mm -hmm. We're here to help people build strong muscular systems so that the other systems in their body also become healthier. Mm -hmm. So if we look at, um, at, at how a muscular system works, um, it, it, it pulls its fuel from digested food mm -hmm. primarily uh, or from what we carry around in our body as fat. And so if we feed it the, uh, the right amount of nutrition and the right type of nutrition that our body can digest in a way that enables the muscle to take that fuel in, then we've got a good digestive system going on as well as a good muscular system. To the question on metabolism, uh, the metabolic system is even more complicated in that it draws from uh, other systems in our body, the cardiovascular, the hormonal, uh, endocrine, uh, as well as digestive and others. And we want our metabolism to be operating at its optimal level. Different for everyone, right. it's not right. the same, right? right? Mm -hmm. And so our body genetics, our body build, um, the uh, the stress levels that mm -hmm. we have in our body at different times of the day, night, and, and month, and year, all have an effect on how those systems work. We want to keep the muscular system strong and healthy because it drives a lot of the other systems, the circulatory and everything else. And therefore, if it's burning fuel efficiently and effectively, it will keep our metabolic rate at a level that is in the right balance for our other systems. Okay, interesting. Yeah, so lots of good things. <laughs> yeah, right. Awesome, awesome. So what other positive effects does strength training have, you know, really when it comes to weight management, fat loss, kind of what we're talking about? Right. Mm -hmm. So interesting phenomenon occurs when you're doing interval and uh, strength training. So when you're doing it, your muscles are in, in action, if you will. They're being contracted. You're using them. You're working them. And, and when they contract, they, um, they then cause the metabolic rate to rise, the energy level need to increase. And that doesn't just stop when you stop working out that day and leave the studio and go on with your day. No, in fact, the, the energy continues, the muscle continues to need energy to recover. Mm. It has to recuperate from the workout that you just did and it has to rejuvenate itself. It has to become healthy again and even healthier, hopefully. And so what happens is it's constantly asking for fuel throughout the next up to three days, depending on once again, your body genetics and the body, the amount of body fat that there is to draw from. And so it continues burning and it's a it's a, uh, we, you hear it called uh, fat burning, but there's actually an acronym, EPOC, EPOC, that, that means that it's causing oxygen to continue to be needed and therefore burned within 
the cells of your body that then enables the, the muscle to have the energy they need. So it's a continual burning machine for some period of time after you do this type of workout. Huh, okay. So you get the effects over, you know, not just during the workout, but even several days after. Yeah. Okay, that's awesome. Um, okay, so everyone's gonna wanna know, well, what do I need to do? <laughs> like, <laughs> tell me exactly what to do. Isn't that the way it always is? Just tell me what to do um, so I have a clear cut plan. So what is the perfect approach to fat loss? Right. Well, the perfect approach is to get your systems in balance, right? right? Starting mm -hmm. with healthy muscles that drive other things, like we said earlier. But it's not just healthy muscle that is required. You need to feed that muscle with good, solid nutrition. Um, there, is, there is so much information out there about diet, mm -hmm. diet and exercise, the combination of when you should eat what and what you shouldn't eat when and what before what other, and all of that is, makes it so complicated. Mm -hmm. And it isn't really that complicated. There are certain food groups that provide our bodies with the nutrition that we need. Uh, those food groups are really basic. There are protein, carbohydrates, carbohydrates primarily in the form of vegetables mm -hmm. and legumes or peas and beans and things like that, as well as good fat mm -hmm. and fruit. And so the, the areas that our body doesn't need that we end up giving it a lot of a lot of times, <laughs> and myself included, is sugar, mm -hmm. processed foods, bad fat, bad fat meaning uh, hydrogenated fats. Um, I love chips and salsa. Chips right. are not <laughs> fried in good fat. Right. They are fried in not so good fat. Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> and so you want to try to minimize the consumption of those food groups, mm -hmm. primarily because they serve you no good purpose. Right. We enjoy them. I, they, we, they taste good, but they don't provide the fuel that our muscles need to drive the other systems in our body to right. help. So, what we, um, what we like to say, is, and, and I will also say, Jen, that there are also some food groups that some people are sensitive to or intolerant of. Yep. And those are ones that we have to figure out if, in fact, we have those, that type of uh, imbalance going on because we don't want to eat or drink or consume those foods. Mm -hmm. They just cause us issues. They yep. can cause digestive issues, energy issues. Um, they can cause us to lose sleep. Uh, that can cause us all kinds of um, uncomfortable and non-productive side, side effects. Absolutely. So somehow we figure out what those things are, we're working with others and mm -hmm. we work with our clients on that to figure out what maybe they are sensitive to or intolerant of and we minimize those in, their, in the food intake that we recommend. Yep, I love that. And yeah, I mean, nutrition is incredibly important. You know, what you're feeding your body, how you're fueling your body. Um, you know, drives so much of this. And I love that you, I feel like we're very much on the same page nutritionally speaking, and that you also engage with your clients in that as well. So that's, that's fantastic because it is, it's not just one component to a healthy right. lifestyle, it's many, um, good nutrition, exercise, stress management, rest, you know, good rest and sleep, all of that combined right. um, really brings about optimal health. But, um, you know, especially in this cleanse, you know, we're, I think we're talking a lot about nutrition and diet and lifestyle. Um, and so, you know, obviously exercise is a piece as well. And so I really appreciate you taking the time to talk about some good, you know, just key points when it comes to exercise. Mm -hmm. Maybe going to the gym and doing an hour on the elliptical is not the best use of your, you know, exercise time, that there are some other options out there. And um, so I love that. It, it definitely helps shed some light. I know for me personally, um, and I'm sure for many of you watching this. So um, where can people find you? Oh, well, we actually, uh, as everyone is, we are, uh, we are on the website. Uh -huh. uh, our uh, www.exercisecoach.com is the, the, the national site that will then point you to our locations. We also have a Facebook page uh, for okay. each of our locations. We have three locations in Dallas uh, right now. So we have a Facebook page. They would mm -hmm. love for people to go and see. We do blogs on mm -hmm. there. We provide recipes. Um, a lot of different information about the value of a healthy muscle when it comes to overall health. It really is the overall health of our clients and anyone that we come in contact mm -hmm. with. We want people to feel healthy, be healthy, 
and, and go out in this world and have the energy to do the things that they really want to do with their lives. And that's what we're focused on. I love it. I love it. And the exercise coach, I know you guys own, own the studios in Dallas, but they are kind of, you know, throughout the United States. Is that correct? It is a national franchise. Okay. It's young. It's been around as a franchise for only about eight years. But it's been in, uh, the founder founded the concept and developed the, the equipment mm -hmm. 20 years ago. Wow. Yeah, so it's a, it's it's really a good way to build your, build healthy muscle in a very efficient time frame. I love it. I love it. Well, thank you so much again for your time. Thank really, you, really Jen. Appreciate I it. appreciate that. <laughs>